Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up, everybody? It's HTG Brian here, and today we've got LEGO Harry Potter Years 5 through 7 preparing for free play! That's right, there are quite a few requirements, as you can see on the left-hand side. We need to complete all of the 24 story levels, giving us some characters and things available, as well as plenty of studage. We also need to obtain the red brick stud multiplier for the 2 and 4X, and we're going to start off by heading for the 4X, as you can see here. And uh, we're also going to uh, grab a couple of characters, one strong, one key character, as well as a dark magic character. Now, along the way, you may have picked up one or more of these, and this may not be uh, a full necessity for you. You might actually have some of these things. And But what we've done here is actually created a pathway with the least resistance, meaning that we're actually going to get some characters that we need, as well as the red bricks we need for the least amount of money and energy spent. So uh, here we are. We have just made our way from Diagon Alley over to King's Cross Station. And in the back kind of left corner, you're going to see this red, weird kind of a lock thing on the wall. We're going to use Defendo to go ahead and cut right through the middle of it, and it drops a red brick for us. And we're going to take this red brick on over to this owl. Who, you say? I said the owl in the corner. That's right, we're going to drop it off there and look at that. Booyaka Shao, the score times four red brick is now ours. Now, let it be known, you do actually have to go purchase that bad boy and activate it before it becomes readily available for you. But we're going to go ahead and get the 2X next. So we're going to hop on the old train and get our choo-choo on all the way over to Hogsmeade Village. Now, this is actually the Hogsmeade Station. We're going to have to make our way out and around to go to the village itself. So uh, you probably have made your way through this if you've completed the story as per one of the requirements. And uh, we're going to take you back to a little snowy village. And to get there, we actually have to uh, traipse through some snowy, uh, well, I guess it's just a weird snowy path here. And check it out. Here we go. We are officially in the village, or at least what we're calling the village. And speaking of which, I want to make note, too, that we are using a map created by the Bonefish Gamer, a.k.a. Headfish created a map of the surroundings. Now, in LEGO Harry Potter years 1 through 4, we used one from another guy named Radiant Viper, and it was a pretty awesome map, and it worked well for us. We're going to do the same here, and rather than create our own, we've kind of modified it to update it a little bit, as Bonefish has not been around, or at least it doesn't appear to be around. Uh, but it is a very helpful helpful map and we're gonna have a link for that down below in the video description but all right you can see up top we went ahead and got the old specter specs from the quibbler dispenser which is right to the right then we went right back down to the bottom of the hill and found the spot for the old specter specs rebuilt it into a snowman who gave us a red brick and we've taken it up to the who you say that's right, we took it to the L and we collected our 2X red brick. So we will go and pay for those and turn those on here in a hot second. But first, we're going to keep on keeping on and make our way in through Hogwarts down and around to the Astronomy Tower, which we've been close to where the entry point is, but we have never actually been inside the Astronomy Tower in our gameplay for 5 through 7. So uh, here we go. We're going to actually make our way right in through the grounds of old Hogwarts. And of course, uh, yeah, you'll see. We're going to follow nearly head the snake psych we don't have nearly had the snake to guide us through anymore we uh we see him around in fact there he is i'll make note of those for our free roam videos each area actually has a nearly headless nick and it's kind of a uh, indicator of what items are available in the area and which ones you've collected so uh, if there's a student in peril there will be an icon for the student in peril same with the red brick gold brick and so on and so forth with the character token so uh, we'll get to that as we get through our free play and over to our free roam. And speaking of which, we are actually only grabbing the items we need from these areas. So right now we're heading to the Astronomy Tower, and there are going to be some more items. But we're going to leave those and return at a later time to go ahead and collect those. So, all right, here's where it gets kind of new ground for us. On the far right side of, I believe, what is the entrance hall? I could be wrong on that. Uh, we're going to head over to the right and use Defendo on this wall that's got red on it. And once we get inside, look at this. We're in a whole new courtyard, and there's a nearly headless Nick with some icons. But most importantly, we need to go ahead and pull out our bag of tricks and hop on the bag of tricks pad, which is over in the far right corner. And it looks like it's going to give us some sort of, what is it? Not the kitchen sink. Oh, it's actually a handle. We can get our knocking on. Knock, knock, knocking on astronomy's door. That's right, check it out. We are now up in the Astronomy Tower. You guys probably remember this from some of the story bits or the movie where some crazy things happen up here. But here we go. We're going to go ahead and use Defendu on this globe on the left. That's right, I said Defendu. 
I should have said Defendo. But anyhow, we've got Grindelwald Old, who is now uh, available for purchase. But we see we have to go to Madam's, uh, what is it, Madam Malkin's robe place. But we're going to do that a quick way. In fact, if you go to your start menu, you can see that there is an option to return to Diagon Alley. And look at that. Rather than make our way all the way back through Hogsmeade and everything else, we can just teleport right to where we need to go. And uh, next up, we need to go all the way to the back corner and not make our way through. Uh, we're actually going to take a left right at the end and into Madame Malkin's robe shop. And then Grindelwald's going to be over on the far right side, kind of in the middle. He's going to cost you 200,000 studs. Uh, now, as you probably noticed in the very beginning, and I probably should have noted this a little bit more, we actually need 850,000 studs to purchase all of the things that we get in this video, including the red bricks, which we're going to go get in a second. We've, we've unlocked Grindelwald, but we need to add him to our party. And this function's a little bit different than the old one through four years, because uh, one through four, you had to drink a polyjuice potion, and it actually replaced the person you were, which is very similar to what we're doing here. You can see Grindelwald has moved as they have kind of uh, ch rearranged the old character tokens. But uh, once we select him, you can see that I can toggle through any of the characters that are in our crew. So that's pretty nice, and it uh, doesn't matter which one you walk out with as long as you have Grindelwald Old available, because we're going to need his dark magic abilities here in a second. But first, we're going to go up the stairs and leak the cauldron, take the first left, and that actually takes us into this crazy room, which allows us to purchase the red bricks. Now, the 2x is going to cost you 200,000, and the 4x is going to cost you 400,000. But to combine when you turn them both on, we're going to get an 8x stud multiplier. So we've purchased them both, and now we're going to scroll on through our start menu down to the extras, and of course turn the 2 and the 4 on. And once we hit the resume, and it takes us back to the main screen, Booyaka Shao, right under our studage, you can see that there is a times 8. And I saw Bluesy at the end of the hallway, so I'm going to go ahead and collect that because we need some more studage. Uh, well, not quite right away. We have plenty to buy the next couple of characters, which we're going to get. Which the next one we're going to grab is the key character, Mrs. Cole. And she's only going to cost us 40,000 studs, but it does require dark magic in order to obtain her. So, as you can see, we've kind of got a process going here. And, you know, the order you guys do this in is really up to you. Uh, we've just kind of done this in a quick and easy fashion so that, you know, if you don't have any of these characters or you don't have a ton of cash, uh, this should work work out quite well for you and we do recommend that if you don't have enough to buy both the 2 and the 4x you know you pick the one that's best for you and go from there but all right we have made it through London all the way across the street down around the corner into the cafe and in the back of the cafe there's a doorway look at this we've actually made it all the way in here there's a couple of items that are back in this room in fact there's another character token I think there might even be two back here but what we need is dark magic and although it looks like we need Defendo to open this weird tank on the left we're gonna actually have to switch over to somebody with dark magic and we're gonna Rip it open and look at that. It goes, bam, slides across the room, explodes, and Buyuka Shao leaves behind a character token. Now I'm having a hard time uh, getting right under it, but look at that. I jumped up for joy, and Buyuka Shao, we got Mrs. Cole now. And now next up, we just need to go and get our strong character. So we've got Dark Magic character, we've got Red Bricks, and we've got a key character. So now all we have to do is uh, go find a uh, strong character. So we're going to use the Bag of Tricks pad right outside of the cafe, which you might have noticed there was a little cinematic scene that kind of indicated there was a car parked over it and it drove off a few minutes ago. And now it's available. But once we use that Bag of Tricks pad, it actually gives us an apparition point. So we're going to go ahead and aberrate. And look at that, we're right back in the tent. And it should be known that there are two missable trophy achievements that you can probably get right here. There should be a map on the left-hand side of the room that you can approach, and that should give you one called Hogwarts has changed. And the second one should be just using magic on that radio in the back which we actually have videos for both of those so uh the other one's called oh children so all right so we're now at the campground site and as you can see i ran up the back path and immediately found this weird skeleton like i don't know if it's a deer or what it is but uh we went ahead and zapped it and it turns out there are three of them so the first one is right on the path right as you run up the second one is in the back middle pathway um, and the third one is actually kind of over towards the left side there's this little pond and he's kind of hanging out taking a little drink and uh yeah so once you get all three of them they're actually going to all gather in the middle they're going to do this crazy little dance and out of nowhere all of a sudden this character token pops up and it happens to be for remus lupin who has the ability to transform into a werewolf 
strength. And that, of course, is where all of his strength comes from. So, uh, oh, to the, yeah, and Lupin only costs us a little chunk of cheese. He's not super expensive like all the other ones. So, uh, yeah, simply, uh, we, we got to head back to Madam Malkin's robes, though, and we got to go purchase both of these guys. And uh, once we have all of three of the characters purchased, and we've got the red bricks, we're going to be ready to go. So we're getting really close to being ready to actually start the free play. Now, you got a little close-up right there of a Nearly Headless Nick icon, and you can see there is a red brick in this area. There's also a student in peril, and it looks like a gold brick, and maybe a character token as well. In fact, we know there's a couple there floating around. And, and to be honest with you, I totally thought I needed to have a bunch of studs, but it turns out you only need to have 50,000. So, as you can see, I've got almost 400,000, and I'm just grabbing as much as I can, and the reality of it is, you just need to have 50 thousand studs in order to purchase Lupin and Mrs. Cole. And that's, of course, assuming you've already purchased the Dark Magic Wizard, which I don't know how you could have gotten Mrs. Cole, but I guess on the other side, you may have already had a key character. You know, going through the free play, uh, you know, some of you already jumped through that. Some of you have accidentally grabbed some of the story. Like, there's one right there. I don't know what character token that is, but I skipped it so I could get it in a smooth pass for free roam for you guys later. But as it turns out, that may be a character that could become helpful right now. So uh, there are some of those questions that I do not have answered yet. And luckily for me, Doug's writing the guide and making everything happen. And uh, yeah, so we're, we're making good progress on all of that. And next up, we just need to actually head into Madam Malkin's robe shop one last time and spend, spend, spend that 50,000 studs and purchase both our key character and our strong character. So... Hey, if you guys have any questions or maybe you guys have a story or some character that you found easier to get or something, drop us a comment down below. Of course, we appreciate your feedback and other viewers read those comments and you may end up helping somebody out there too. So there's Remus Lupin, a nice 10,000 as we promised. It was a nice lower number there. And Mrs. Cole, 40K. So a little bit more expensive, but let's be honest. 40K is pretty cheap for a character. And look at that. Booyakashow! We're jumping for joy. We are officially ready for free play, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, you know what this screen means that can only mean one thing that's going to wrap it up for lego harry potter years five through seven in this video we actually prepared for free play and hopefully you guys found this video useful and maybe a wee bit entertaining and if you guys like i said if you have any other characters that you feel are easier to get or maybe cheaper i know that you unlock bellatrix lestrange for completing the story but she costs almost four million studs that's a lot of cheese to break on one character so anyhow if you guys have any questions or comments head over to facebook twitter or simply comment vote subscribe down below we have all the links for our social pages, including happythumbsgaming.com, our patreon.com account, all sorts of stuff in the video description. In fact, there should be a link to our trophy achievement guide for this as well. And if there's not, drop me a comment and say, hey, man, where's that trophy achievement link? And I'll go ahead and supply that for you guys. So as for me, I'm excited. I've got free play. I got house crest character tokens and student in perils that are about to be freed. And of course, we're going to show you how to launch all of the different missions to into free play as there's a spot in the leaky cauldron you can walk up to and access any of them so you don't have to go to a spe special spot in the map or nothing it's just right there in the leaky cauldron so anyhow as for me that's gonna do it as always until next time Ka -ka! Ka -ka! Slip. <laughs>